Okay, so my topic is over deviance, which is in chapter five, and I've sectioned out my discussion into defining deviance, the challenges that you're going to have associated with deviance, the sport ethic circle, and deviance, and current acts of deviance in sports. So defining deviance, um, it is defined as when a person's ideas, traits, or actions are perceived by others to fall outside the normal ranges of acceptance in society. So the key words in the definition of deviance are normal and acceptance. And the reason those are big is because um, deviance is associated with norms in our society. And norms are like a shared expectations that people have to define what is acceptable and unacceptable in the world. Um, so there are two types of norms. There are formal norms, which are like written out and established. And then there are informal norms, which are kind of like unsaid spoken things that a culture does. So an example of a formal norm would be you're not allowed to park in a handicapped parking spot. Like that's written, you're not allowed to do that, blah, blah, blah. And then an example of an informal norm could be when you go to certain cultures and you're expected to act a certain way after a meal, like saying thank you, and in other ways, it's you're not expected to say something like that. Um, and then, so since there are two examples of norms, there are also two examples of deviance. Deviance can also be formal or informal. And um, a form of deviance, again, is like something that's established. Like in a sport, an example of formal deviance would be if like a player went and shoved a referee. Like that's written in the rule book. You're not allowed to do that. And then an example of informal would be a violation of a custom um, that's not really written. So if a team, like an example of that could be if a team normally prays before a game and a new coach doesn't let them do that. So that would not be um, a good thing. Okay, so some challenges associated with deviance are that um, the first one is that um, types and causes of deviance in sports are so diverse that not a single theory can explain all of the reasons. So basically, there is not one single reason why acts of deviance happen. It's all different. And then secondly, actions accepted in sports may, defined, may be defined as deviance in like one aspect, but in other parts of the world, they're not defined as deviance. So an example of that could be like, um, like the physical contact in a football game, like me going up and hitting someone in a football game would be defined as like physical assault on the street. And I would probably get sent to jail for that. But in sports, it's completely acceptable to go and hit someone and even possibly injure them. Like that's considered acceptable. And then a third challenge with deviance is that deviance in sports involves over conformity to norms. It involves over conformity to norms rather than rejecting or conforming them. So like if um, a kid wants to be accepted really badly into a sporting atmosphere and on a team, he may compromise what he believes and the morals that he holds in order to be accepted by his teammates. And then um, a fourth challenge of deviance is the new science and technology that are constantly being developed in sports and there aren't really regulated norms to determine what's acceptable and unacceptable since it's so rapidly developing. So that's hard for um, lines to be drawn there. So next is the sport ethic circle. And the sport ethic circle is basically like there you have sport ethic. And then along with that, you have dedication to the game. You have the athletes strive for a distinction you have the fact that athletes will accept the risks of their sport and play through the game. And then you have the fact that athletes will accept um, no obstacles and they will do whatever it takes. So they're allowed to like, they see all of these things as acceptable because it contributes to their sport, but it's actually in some places not acceptable to do that. So then current, lastly, current acts um, of deviance are done in all aspects. Like they're done with athletes, they're done with coaches, and they're done with sport organizations. With athletes, you can have like hazing, you can have bullying, you can have abuse of hotel property. With coaches, you can have big financial reasons. And then with sport organizations, you also have, um, they're sponsored by people. So they have um, a lot of problems conforming to the normal rules of the sport.